All right, in this video, we're going to do a simple part coordinate system on the Hellmill CMM. And first, we turn the computer on right here, and then we turn the monitor on. Okay, and then we're going to click on the GeoMet symbol right here. And all the directions are on your lab practice sheet. First thing we want to do, it's asking us to home the machine. So we home the machine all the way to the front, right, top. And we set home. And then we can put in the information that we want to do. Say if we want to do a practice uh, lab, whatever it may be, uh, number 18, lab number 18. We can put it there. We can put our name right here, which I've already done. It has the date, the time. Uh, so once I get that right, I can put the part number. Each part that we have that we're going to do a part coordinate system, they're numbered. This one happens to be number six. So I can put part number six in there if I'd like. And now I'm ready to go. So I do want to calibrate the probe because I don't know if the probe it has been changed. I don't know anything about it. So once I get to the stylus, the stylus is a probe. It's a Ruby probe. I'm going to click next and I'm using the ball for a spear. So I'm going to click next again. Now it wants me to take five hits off of this ball. And I hope you can see this okay. But there's a ball in the back of here. I'm going to hit it one time on the top. And I'm going to hit it five to uh, four times around the edges. And that should be good. Okay. Now, the last probe that I just checked was 117 and a half thousandths. That's about what it should be. So I'm going to say set active. Now it's going to put that probe right here. That's the probe that I just calibrated. Usually you want to calibrate a probe three or four times just to make sure it's right because temperature changes, things like that. So now I want to do a part coordinate system because the machine, it knows where the machine is at, it knows where the table is at, it knows where the probe, but what it doesn't know is where my part is at. So I'm going to do what's called a PCS, part coordinate system setup. Okay, so it needs to know where my part is in the X, uh, in the X, Y, and Z location. So let's go ahead and measure plane, and I want to come down, Z negative, so I'm going to come down on top of my part. I'm going to try to do this. Hoping that you can see. I don't have a cameraman here to zoom in. So we'll just see what happens with this. I've got to hit it very gently. Just barely tap it. There's four times on the part, top of the part. Now it's going to ask me in my directions here. I have my directions. It says after I hit the top of the part four times, I want to hit J as orient, L as origin. So I hit J and L. Okay. Now I do want to see a couple things. I want to show my stylus position. I don't need to see the surface plate or the calibration sphere. So I'll hit apply. And there is my square or the plane I just hit. There's the machine coordinate system, which we're going to make a part coordinate system and move that over here. There's my probe floating way up there. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to hit two points on the left side to get the X position. Measure, line, and they all have shortcut keys and I want to hit X positive. I'm going to be coming in from the X left side. So I'm going to hit it twice on the left side. and. Just like that. Now I need to know which plane I'm working on because uh, we have various planes. The XZ plane, uh, but the XY plane is looking straight down at the part like a 2D part. So I want to hit XY right there. Now you see the little line that I just made. I made that line, I made that plane. But now I want to hit a point on the front. Uh, as soon as I hit K and L, which is a line and origin, which it's in, the, in your directions, just follow the directions and you'll be fine. Uh, now we want to measure a point. So I want to measure this point in the 
Y positive direction. That's in the very front of the part. So I'm going to tap the part right on the front. Just like that, I move the probe up out of the way. And now I'm going to hit L for um, origin. So now you can see, as we rotate this, and I hope you can see okay, that now our origin is at the front left corner of the part. And most of the time when we do CNC work, uh, that's what we're looking for. And you can see on the screen there, our origin has moved from the machine coordinate system to the part coordinate system. This is the top plane, this is the X left side, this is the Y, the Y positive front side of my part. So we just made a part coordinate system. It's called a PCS-1 and on my uh, outline here, or on my report, it says PCS-1 established. So now the machine knows where my part is. So if I wanted to take certain points such as holes, pins, slots, uh, rectangles or cones or anything like that, I could measure it and it would all be in relation to the front left corner. So all of our prints that we're going to use to be measuring things on the CMM are going to be based off the front left corner. Okay, so this front left corner is zero. Now if I have a hole out here, it's going to be X and Y in relation to that origin. Okay, so that was a very quick way to uh, calibrate my probe, which I would normally want to do about three or four times. Um, and we set a part coordinate system, as you can see. So I'll try to put some more videos on here, and we'll see what happens. So good luck on your lab.